It's time for another good idea, bad idea. <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm finally going to be talking about the Harry Potter news. This has came out for a while. I know everyone's been wanting to know my opinions on this. Do I think it's a stupid idea? Do I think it's a great idea? Do I think, do I think it could, could work? Could it be better than the films? Or is this just a disgrace to the films? I don't, like... You can go different ways on this. Like, you can go, is this a good idea? You can go, yes, however. And you can go, no, but. <laughs> like, is it a good idea? No, but. The show can go way more loyal to the books. Because how they're doing the show is like, it's going to be like eight seasons long or seven or eight seasons long. And each season is going to be the entire book. First season is going to be Philosopher's Stone. Second, Chamber of Secrets. Third season, Prince of Azkaban, And so on. So that's that's not a bad idea, actually. So yes, it's a great idea. However, <laughs> um, the movies did something very magical. And, and the movies are fantastic. Every single one of those movies are so fucking good, so good, so good. And yes, they, they got things wrong. They did things that they, you know, like, mm, find out the best idea, it works better in the books. And like, um, I think the books, for the most part as a whole, are better than the movies, but the movies are still fantastic. And then like the third movie, Person Rask Grand, is like one of the greatest fantasy movies like of all times in my like, top 10 favorite fantasy films ever. So, the movies did bring something pure and magical, and they did stay majority very loyal to the books, even though they did change quite a bit. But they still, for the most part, stayed very loyal. And the characters are still the, those are the characters on the screen, especially like Snape and Dumbledore, and I would even say Harry Potter. David Radcliffe did a great job. So, but like, however, though, but the show like. Like, it, everyone's going to compare it to the movies. It, it, there's no, like, if fans are butts about that. Like, even with the Fantastic Beasts movies, they're shit. They're shit movies. And everyone compares them to the Harry Potter movies because it's in the Wizarding World. And, like, this is fucking nothing compared to the Harry Potter movies. Like, the best Fantastic Beasts movie is still not even as good as the weakest Harry Potter movie. So, like, like what are they doing? And I know J.K. Rowling signed off on the show, but... She also signed off on Fantastic Beasts and stuff. And, I don't know, just, it's so up in the air. It's like, ah. Uh, also, like, we live in this modern age now, and I have no idea what a modern age Harry Potter is going to look like. And that makes me very, very nervous. Like, I have no idea what they're going to do. And it's terrifying. It's really terrifying. I don't know what they're going to do to Harry Potter and Hermione and Ron and the professors. Because a lot of nowadays is all about identity and stuff. And about, you know, you got to be diverse. And there's nothing wrong with diversity at all. But the Harry Potter characters, for the most part, you all know where I'm going with this. Yes, there were, of course people of color, of course, like the Patil sisters and um, uh, Dean and Kingsley, and we can give them more screen time in the shows, which is great, great, and Cho, and a lot of great uh, characters, but I don't know, are they going to, like, swap races, because that's a big thing nowadays in a lot of movies now, and I'm like, okay, that can be a little problematic and stuff, or I don't know, I don't know, because that's the thing they're doing nowadays, and it's... It's, it's very odd, and I'm just like, I don't know why they're doing that. Uh, but let's, let's get to, like, what, what good stuff can happen. Again, they can maybe get an actor to play Harry Potter who's better than Dan Radcliffe. And, and like, maybe they can flesh out the characters more. Like, because the movies, as much they're all long and they're great and stuff, but with a show, you can just flesh characters out more and, you know, bring to life more and you can add more because like when you're making a film adapting a film adapting a book uh you have to take away but with a show you can 
that and add more things and add more development and add more like maybe conversations there's a lot of things i always wanted to see in the wizarding world that we never got to see in the movies like the common the, the, the common door rooms like a, a ravenclaw and hufflepuff the elf kitchen um everything with the elves and dobby and stuff dobby's like a non-existing character other than chamber of secrets and death house part one um, seeing, like, all the Weasleys and their stories, actually seeing Charlie and stuff, uh, bringing characters that are supposed to be in it, like, there's more ghosts that we never got to see, and there's a lot of things, like, even with Rita Skeeter and Hermione and stuff, actually seeing Ron a good character, all the stuff that, the reason people love Hermione so much in, like, the movies is because all that stuff is Ron in the books, all of, like, Hermione's best dialogue in the movies is Ron's dialogue in the books. Because what Stephen Gloves, because Stephen Gloves is the writer, his favorite character is Hermione. So he wanted to basically take all of Ron's character and put it in Hermione. Which I don't understand. And the thing is, you don't know that if you just watch the movies. And watch the movies, you're like, oh, Harry Potter's... Uh, Hermione in Harry Potter is fantastic. Like, she's one of the best characters and through that, yeah, but then when you read the books, you're just like, wait a minute, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> and the thing is, six months ago, I read the Harry Potter books again, because it's been a long time. And that's why I made the video about, like, the bad things in the movies and stuff. Just the books are just so fleshed out, and just the, the, I could tell. I would love so much to see, like, a show that just brings the books page per page to life in a show and done very well and very respectfully that would be great that would be fan fucking fantastic to see and we could still have the movies but have this show more loyal to the books and the films are loyal to the books but also do their own thing but it's that's wishful thinking because you know they're gonna do stuff because again we live in the modern age they're gonna change a lot of things they're gonna put identity stuff in it they might oh, god forbid i hope they don't put politics in it like i really don't and they might change some very crucial things like they change things in the movies and some of it i disliked mostly in the half-blood prince but i still lived with it all and it was like okay that's still fine they're still great films but they can change things even worse in the show and that's terrifying they can butcher the harry potter series and that is something I don't want to see. I don't want to see Harry Potter just get fucking butchered. Like, that's why it's terrifying. Like, I, I'm like, okay, what if they make a show and they completely fuck up the entire story? And I'm like, well, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> like, so it's just, I'm so mixed on it. I'm just so mixed because it can be a great idea, but it could be a fucking disaster. And... Living in this modern age now, I'm more like leaning on it's probably gonna be more of a disaster. <laughs> oh my god, because Twitter's a thing and people complain a lot. I don't know. Play the Hogwarts game. I've been playing that now. It's fucking amazing. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I just think the the movies. It's still pretty recent. Like the movies. The, the movies ended in 2011 and. The Fantastic Beast movies are still like going, so we still have Harry Potter stuff. So, should we have a show right now? Probably not. I don't think we should have a Harry Potter show. I don't think. I don't think now is the right time, especially the J.K. Rowling controversy going on, which I think is fucking stupid. I don't want to talk about that because it's ridiculous. Um, but that's all happening and i can tell they would want to maybe change the story more because it's jk rolling stuff so i have no idea uh i think it could be a great thing i really think it could it could work like they're making percy jackson again into a show and i i am very hopeful about it because the movies were such dog shit so maybe they can be more loyal to the percy jackson books with the show so harry potter can do the same thing and it could be great, maybe even better than the movies, but it could not. And in this day and age, it's more leaning to it probably won't. So maybe don't do that. But they're going to do it anyway. So I'll do a trailer reaction when they release a trailer for it or a teaser trailer for it. Because I'm very excited to see what it looks like. Oh, oh my god, it could be so bad. 
But, uh, so I'm, I, I'm in the middle. I'm more of saying, I'm leaning more on the side of not a good idea. Not a good idea. Just give it another, like, 10 years. Um, but it could work. So let me know in the comments below, do you think this is a good idea? Uh, a television, HBO show, a Harry Potter. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Could they completely ruin Harry Potter? Could it ruin the movies? Let me know. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Be passionate. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel. Enjoy the dark side.